Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this Milio Photos review. So Milio Photos is an advanced photo management system incorporating contemporary functions such as face recognition, AI keyword tagging and search, and geotagging. But what makes Milio Photos so special is its ability to consolidate images spread across many different devices and drives and then present them to you across all devices as a single common photo library. And uniquely, Milio Photos achieves all of this consolidation without using the cloud or even an internet connection. So Milio Photos is a subscription service and will cost you $12.99 a month. For that, you get the applications itself, the applications for iOS and Android, and Milio Drive, which we will cover later in this review. If you already like the sound of Milio Photos, you can try it for free right now. And to that end, there is a link in the description below. Alternatively, drop by the Silent Peak Photo Store for all the latest prices on a range of photography software, and also, if you're very lucky, a few promo codes as well. So when you begin using Milio Photos on your computer, the first thing you'll want to do is add some photographs. We can simply import them into the application, but leave their files on their original storage device. We can move those files to within Milio Photos own folder structure, or copy them and have those files in both the original location and Milio's own structure. But the bottom line is you get to choose. And as you would expect from any photo management system, System, you can indeed rate your photos, tag your images with any number of keywords, assign them to albums and place them in different categories. Milio Photos is also loaded with contemporary features. So for example, we have face recognition, one of the better face recognition systems I have used, which enables us to tag our faces with their names, after which Milio Photos will crawl your entire photo collection, assigning that name to any matching faces it finds. Malio Photos also uses smart tags. Now what happens is that the application basically reviews your photos using object recognition and picks up on the various different elements within your photo, such as water, sky, mountain, animal, bird, and so forth, and then automatically tags your images with these elements. Thereafter, we can actually use the search option to search for images featuring these elements. So for example, you might search for all your photos that feature birds. Malio also has one of the best implementations of a map view I've used. Here we can use the map view to browse our photo collection by where those photos were taken. If your images do not contain location information because they were captured with a camera lacking GPS, we can actually drag our images from our library onto the map, which will then place them on the map and also write the address and the GPS coordinates to your file's metadata, thus making your photo's location information available to other software applications. Now, Malio Photos is mostly a photo management application. However, it might surprise you to find out that it actually does have some pretty decent photo editing capability. So, begin with, we do have a range of presets and auto enhancement features that you can use sort of to one click your way to a reasonable edit. When it comes to doing your own photo edit, Malio Photos does feature most traditional photo editing adjustments such as exposure, white balance, blacks, whites, contrast, saturation, and so on. However, make no mistake, Malio Photos is not designed to replace your favorite photo editing application. Therefore, it is best that you consider this a convenient supplement rather than a placement for the likes of Capture One Pro, Lightroom, or DxO Photo Lab 8. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of what actually makes Milio Photos so unique. So with Milio Photo, we can add multiple drives to our library. So these could be your external USB drives, but they don't have to be drives at all. For example, you may have images in your OneDrive account or even stored away on a network attached storage or NAS. Here, we can link each of our cloud drives, NAS or hard disks to our Milio Photo library and 
then view those images as if they were all stored in a single place. However, you may want to reserve one of your disks and assign it a vault status. Now, what the vault is, is it is a backup, basically where copies of every original file fragmented across all of your disks and devices will be kept. So in the event of file loss, we are able to restore our entire photo library, regardless of how fragmented it may be from a single location. Furthermore, we can set up many different vaults. We don't just have to have one. For example, you may choose to have one local disk there in your house, and then another kept offsite in the cloud. Therefore, protecting your photo collection sort of from site incidents such as floods, fires, and even ransomware. Now, if having a backup or a vault in the cloud is something that does appeal to you, then rest assured you are free to choose your own service as long as it's OneDrive, Google Drive, or at least S3 compatible cloud storage. However, if you want to make things a little bit easier, you can indeed buy cloud storage from Mylio themselves. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, and its prices, check out the links in the description below. So let's talk about adding devices to Mario Photos. Now, for most of us, that probably means at least adding our smartphone, but it could mean adding any number of smartphones, tablets, or indeed other computers. Now, after you have added the device, you will now be able to explore your entire photo collection from that device. So for example, you will be able to browse all the images on your computer from your smartphone, and you will be able to explore your smartphone images from your PC. Malio Photos utilizes peer-to-peer -peer connectivity, which is to say that your smartphone and PC will trade images between them. In other words, your entire consolidated photo library will be on your PC, and on your smartphone simultaneously. Therefore, you now have two libraries instead of one. You might be thinking this is all incredibly efficient and that you're gonna bleed away your smartphone's storage in a matter of minutes. And that brings us on to our second technology, Malio Photos Optimized Images. Now, these optimized images are, practically speaking, almost perfect replicas of your original files, except they are between 10 to 15 times smaller. Nevertheless, when viewed in a normal fashion, and even when you edit them, you're very unlikely to tell the difference. It is also due to these tiny optimized images, not in terms of dimension, but in terms of file size, that you will be able to store absurd amounts of images on a limited storage device such as your smartphone. Now, in case you are wondering, these optimized images do not replace the original files. Your original files will remain safely stored on their device of origin. Therefore, it's technically true to say that Malio Photo's promise of a single consolidated photo library uh, comes true, but in the form of illusion. After all, we haven't got a single consolidated library. We have many. However, the critical difference here is that functionally speaking, it operates as a single consolidated photo library. In other words, if you were to open an image, whether it be the original copy or the optimized version, and then delete it, it will then delete off all of the devices. Likewise, if we go in to edit an image, regardless of whether it is the original or the optimized image, the edit will then transfer to all of the other images on all of the devices, including the original file itself. Therefore, whether you are viewing the optimized or original copy becomes entirely a technicality. It has no meaningful bearing on what you do. Now, for this to work, both of the devices need to be able to see each other on the same network. Therefore, the limitation here is that when both devices are separated, those images can not be traded, and that is where Mylio Drive comes in. Now, Mylio Drive is a cloud storage service with a difference. It isn't there to host your original images. Instead, Mylio Drive is an archive for any number of optimizations 
optimized images. So no matter how much your photo collection grows, there will always be more room on the cloud storage for you. Now you don't have to use Mylio Drive to make this whole thing work, but what Mylio Drive does is it sort of fixes the shortcoming with peer-to-peer -peer networking. So whereas before our devices could only trade images while they're on the same network, with Mylio Drive enable, your devices will be able to trade optimized copies of your images over a standard internet connection. So if you're out and about and your devices are split across different networks, they all will be able to connect to Malio Drive and pull the images from there. So what is Malio Photos like to use? Well, as you can imagine, it is initially a little bit complex. However, it is much easier than it has any right to be thanks to a tutorial setup that will basically walk you through the seven steps of setting up Malio Photos. So this begins simply by importing your first batch of photos and then adding any subsequent drives, vault drives and of course additional devices. Furthermore, Malio Photos interface is responsive, attractive and well presented. However, navigating Malio's interface is dependent on getting to know many nameless icons. And then there is just the complexity of how Malio Photos works. Now as I said earlier in this review, the fact that they are multiple copies of your images floating around is a technicality that that you do not actually have to worry about when using the application. Nonetheless, it does take a little while to get used to Mylio Photos interface and just a little bit longer to become comfortable with how Mylio Photos works. So what are the best alternatives to Mylio Photos? Well, let's begin with ACDC Professional. Now, ACDC Professional is an all-in-one photo studio with extremely similar photo management capabilities. What's more, ACDC's Professional's edit mode is vastly superior to Mylio Photos. ACDC also has ACDC Share, a mobile app for your smartphone, which enables you to transfer images right back from your smartphone to your computer's library. However, this transaction is one way. If you find that frustrating, you can indeed subscribe to the cloud, and now you will have a cloud-based storage that you can store all your photos from and then connect to with any device with an internet connection. And in this regard, the cloud brings many benefits, but also several disadvantages. First of all, we'll be storing large raw files in the cloud, which means we're gonna use an awful lot of storage and cloud storage is not cheap and certainly not free. Moreover, accessing our images in the cloud is absolutely dependent on an internet connection, which isn't the case with Mylio Photos peer-to-peer -peer service. But overall, if your photo collection is on the smaller size and less fragmented, which is to say perhaps you have photos split between your computer and smartphone, you might prefer the all-round capabilities of ACDC Professional. However, if you have a substantial photo collection split across many different devices and drives, Malio Photos is the way to go. The other alternative to Malio Photos is, of course, Lightroom. Now, like ACDC Professional, Lightroom is an all-in-one photo management and photo editing studio, which is to say its photo management is roughly the same as Malio your photos and its photo editing is vastly superior. Lightroom also leverages the cloud and within your 11.99 month subscription you receive one terabyte of cloud storage which is actually quite a lot and should be good for many thousands of your raw files. Furthermore any sort of extra devices that you might have will be able to connect to those files via an internet connection and indeed you will be able to share those images with family, friends and clients via common web browsers. However Lightroom does have some disadvantages. For example, features such as its AI keyword tagging and face recognition only work on the images that you've uploaded to the cloud. The cloud itself, while having benefits, does have its disadvantages. Specifically, any device trying to access photos from the cloud requires an internet connection. And the larger your photo collection becomes, the more you are going to have to pay in cloud storage. So to conclude, is Mylio Photos any good? It is easy to use. It is very responsive and its core management features are excellent. Its face recognition is as good as any I have used, as is its smart tag 
AI keywording system and its map view for geotagging is the best implementation I have used yet. Not only does Mylio Photos provide that consolidated view of a fragmented photo library, but it can also back up that fragmented photo library as if it were one. The combination of Mylio's two core technologies, optimized images and peer-to-peer -peer networking, enable you to see all of your images from any single device without any dependence on the cloud or indeed an internet connection. If your photo collection is large and indeed divided across many different drives and devices, Mylio Photos begins to make sense. So at this point of the review, I would like to tell you that I am indeed a Mylio affiliate. However, I am also affiliated with its main alternatives, namely Adobe Lightroom and ACDC. Therefore, I am somewhat impartial because it doesn't really matter to me which of the three that you might choose. Nonetheless, if you don't want to take my word for any of this, you can try Mylio Photos for yourself absolutely free. And to that end, there is a link to your free Mylio Photos trial in the description below. If you'd like to know more about Mario Photos, do drop by the Silent Peak Photo Review. There's also the Silent Peak Photo Store. Here you will find the latest prices for many different photography software applications and on occasions, free trials and promo codes as well. I do hope you found this video useful. Subscribe if you like this sort of content and would like to see me do a little bit more. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a very good day.